Hi, welcome to Short Run Pro's video series on various manufacturing topics. Today we're going to talk about powder coat paint and wet paint uh, and the differences between the two of them. Uh, first I'm going to talk about wet paint. Uh, wet paint is something that you're probably already pretty familiar with. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's, uh, it's a paint that's, uh, that's wet. Uh, it's, it is used in a lot of industrial applications, not quite as much in our shop as powder coat paint. And I'm going to explain to you why that is. Uh, but first I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, wet paint that you may not know. Uh, what it actually is, is there's the, the pigmentation, the color, that is actually um, going to be a bunch of little, little specks that are all in a uh, liquid solution. So that'll be my liquid solution there. Um, and then that liquid solution is applied to the part or whatever it is you're painting. And then as the uh, liquid solution dries, the uh, little flecks of paint is what remains behind and gives you your color. Okay? So you may not be aware of that. And that leads us into what powder coat paint is. With powder coat paint, we don't have the liquid solution. It's just the little flecks. You'll just find uh, the paint will be like a dust. It's not, it's not liquid or anything. You could put your hand in, it's like scooping up sand. Uh, you, it's just uh, little flecks of, flecks of powder, hence the name powder coat paint. So how do we get the powder coat paint to stick to the part? Well, what we do is uh, we run an electric current through the part. So we've got, and let's draw us a little part here. There's my part. It's an L bracket. Let's give it some holes. Some depth, because I hate flat parts. So we've got our part, and we'll hook it up to, to a charge. And let's draw that like a lightning bolt. Uh, that's a terrible lightning bolt. But what we got is it's gonna it's gonna have a charge. So if you've ever um, if you've ever rubbed a balloon and then picked up uh, little sheets of paper with it with the static electricity, that's what we're doing with with the uh, with the powder coat paint. We're gonna put a charge through the through the part. So then when we throw the powder over the paint over the part, the powder is going to stick to the part. So then what we do is we take the part and we put it in an oven. There's our fire. Uh, and that will, that will melt the little flecks of paint and they'll all join together and they'll all like interact with the, uh, with the metal and form a, a, solid, uh, a solid coating over the, over the part, uh, which is actually much more uh, durable, resistant to chipping, uh, and in most cases thicker than you would get with a wet paint. Um, and because it is so, it is so durable and, uh, and good for, for uh, outdoor applications and uh, it'll last longer than, than wet paint, we actually use the powder coat paint much more often than, uh, than wet paint. Uh, so if, uh, if you're thinking about paint, uh, think about your options. Uh, wet paint, you can, you can do that at home if you like. Uh, if you've got like a, a, a low uh, low quantity stuff, you're just getting four or five parts and uh, a wet paint will do all right for you, then, uh, then you don't have to pay our setup charges to set up the whole paint line. But if you're getting a larger run of parts, more parts, uh, uh, then it could be effective for you to get uh, powder coat paint. Your parts will last a little bit longer and, uh, and it's just a, a better coating in, uh, in most cases. Uh, so that's a little bit about powder coat painting. Uh, thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time. Thank you.